In this video, I'm gonna show you the best URL structure for your website. And in case you don't know what that means, I'm talking about the format of everything that comes after your domain name in the address bar. Some pages look like this while others like this and still others look like this. Which one of these is best for search engine optimization? Let's find out. Okay guys, so like most things on this channel, it's a culmination of years of research and experience and the topic of URL structures is no different. Let's go straight to Google and right away here, you'll see that the biggest search engine in the world suggests in its developer documentation to keep a simple URL structure. I think the key phrase here is to organize your content so that URLs are constructed logically and in a manner that is most intelligible to humans. And just a side note here, this advice tends to be what most search engine optimization techniques boil down to. And that is in essence, you're trying to make it better for humans to find your page, to understand your page, not search engines. Google's developer documentation continues on to give an example stating rightfully so that this URL structure right here is more appealing than this one down here. Okay, great. So simple URL structures, we got it but there's definitely more to it than just that. Check this out right here. Google recommends that you use hyphens instead of underscores in your URLs. This means that your pages on your website should have a URL structure that looks like this and not this. Pretty much every URL on your website should be as simple as possible, but don't overdo it. Even though the URL like, comment, subscribe is shorter, the URL that reads like, dash, comment, dash, subscribe is preferred. In terms of readability, do a favor not only for the search engines, but also for your website visitors. If you're using WordPress, the default URL structure looks something like this, which as we know by now is not good practice. Out of these options, which one of these do you think is most favorable for SEO? I would say either this, this, or this, but unless you're a news outlet that publishes time relevant content, then I would suggest the post name option here. And another quick side note, if we call this whole thing a URL, then this is the protocol, this is the domain name, and everything that comes after that is called the slug. The terminology slug actually originated from the newspaper industry as a short name given to an article that is in production. To summarize, keep a simple URL structure with human readable words that are separated by hyphens. Doing this will increase your chances of ranking for organic search results, which by the way, if you wanna know how I conduct my keyword research, check out this video right here.